Hi there. Thank you for checking out my metric soccer analyst. If you are a true data lover, please take the time to go through the settings for each modules. Metrics are created not only to give you insights, but also to understand potential teams' reactions and behaviors. We're adding some red flags status to tell you what gaps exist in specific module. Last but not least, we hope you all click on the like and share button. Thank you so much. Hi, welcome back. Uh, another assessment on Everton versus Chelsea. Right, first let's take a look at this on physical module. Right, as we can see, Everton has been uh, over projected on the fuel speed. Right, as I mentioned in some other videos, those fuel speed is uh, if it's over uh, exposed or too high, right, against the opponent, right, this could actually backfire. Hence, um, this part actually hampered their game setup uh, for the home team, which could be quite tricky. Right, next, um, let's take a look at the in-play metrics. Okay, this part is pretty important. Um, from what we observed for the past uh, samplings, right, those teams would actually have built up over 40% uh, will be very strong team at the midfield. Where, right, at Chelsea is showing on 19%. Right against forty seven, um, which Everton uh, obtained, right? Um, um, we see that uh, Chelsea could be uh, impact by this. Okay. Uh, lastly, let's take a look at the projected merit points. Mm, okay. Uh, pretty much logical. A uh, three, three, three margin is given because okay, based on the build up, which is uh, Chelsea currently is obtaining at ninety percent, as I mentioned earlier. They may not be so dominant in the midfield area, which could cost them uh, a chance to win this game. So, uh, to summarize everything, right? So, Everton uh, and escape uh, relegation last year, and they regulated, uh, they survived, right? So, this game still look favorable on their side. So, I actually, on my end, uh, based on all the given metrics, I foresee a 1 1 draw. Which is sound reasonable. Uh. Basically, uh, this game should be on the favor of the home team. Right? Okay, once again, thanks for listening to my assessment. Please take this as a reference. to form a valid judgment to ensure that a complete framework has been created to form the completeness and basis of a metric analysis foundations. It is essentially based on systematic observation, understood as the organized recording and quantification of sports behaviors in their natural context.
information on how our game metrics should be interpreted, as easy on how a layperson can judge a game prior to kickoff without any bias. With the fair game model in mind, we set no limits on using all of the appropriate statistics and data to compile game behaviors and roadmap the process of certain specific outcomes. In addition, we added triggers and observation points to help players better understand the game's hidden gaps. With no doubt, we promote zero gambling activities here, and sincerely hope you enjoy these settings to make soccer a more well-attended game in the near future, rather than pinning on blind faiths and lack of field knowledge. Thank you for watching my video, and please remember to support me by subscribing to my channel. Your support is what motivates me to make more informative and interesting videos. Until then, see you in the next video.